Avene, in Bombay, India. I was watching the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony, and during Mark Henry's speech, he mentioned that he threatened Shawn Michaels and was banished to Canada. Can you elaborate on this? Does this have anything to do with Montreal or Mark Henry liking Bret Hart? No, it had nothing to do with Montreal because it happened the year before Montreal. Actually, it was only a few months after Henry uh, got started with the company. So this is kind of a funny story, actually. He broke his ankle. This was in, uh, I want to say, late 96. He broke his ankle, and so he was walking around for a while on crutches. And because he was the new guy, you had all the other guys in the back were ribbing him and razzing him and... They would hide his crutches so he couldn't find them, or one crutch. So he did what anybody would do in that situation, uh, because he didn't know any better. He was new to the wrestling business, and uh, he's a big, scary man. And he told them all that when his ankle was healed, they would be dealt with. If Mark Henry tells me that I'm going to be dealt with, I'm logging on to LegalZoom and getting my will and testament taken care of to make things easier for my family. So one of those times, when they hit his crutches, Shawn Michaels was there. And he was giving Mark Henry a lot of crap about it, and laughing about it. And actually, he was standing, as as Henry tells the story, Shawn was standing behind Psycho Sid while he was giving Henry crap. So it was almost like he was hiding, in a way, behind Sid. And there's this great quote from Mark Henry. I had to look it up, because I couldn't remember exactly, uh, word for word, what it was that he said. And I wanted to make sure I got it right. So Sean is taunting him, and Henry just goes, Man, you think this motherfucker standing in front of you is going to protect you from me? I'll rip you off the bone, then put my foot in your ass. <laughs> I love I love that line. That line is, if they had let Mark Henry say that line on television back then, he would have been world champion a decade earlier than he was. I'll rip you off the bone and put my foot in your ass. How great is that? So naturally, Shawn Michaels did what, by all accounts, Shawn Michaels did back then. He ran to Vince McMahon and cried like a bitch. Uh, He cried that Henry threatened him, which led to Vince having a meeting with Mark Henry, uh, where he told him that he was sending him up to Calgary. He was sending him up to Stampede Wrestling, uh, I guess to get some more training or seasoning. Uh, Really, I guess Henry saw it as a punishment. He was effectively being banished to another country. He was being banished to Canada. Uh, So that's where that stuff comes from. But that's also how Mark Henry ended up getting so close to Bret Hart and the entire Hart family because he went up to work uh, basically for the Hart family. He worked in Stampede. He got to know the family. He got to know all those guys. They they helped break him in, in a way, uh, into the business. And that's how he got very close and became a Bret Hart guy over, you know, being a Shawn Michaels guy.